I'm Larry and uh, I have been in the recovery program for the last 22 weeks. Um, I really like the song by Plum that uh, talks about it's okay not to be okay because sometimes I'm not okay. Uh, I was tired of coming to church and acting like I was okay all the time. Um, in life, in uh, coming to work every day and just acting like everything was okay when it's not. Um, I was really having some struggles in my life. I really needed to get into a recovery program and I knew it. Um, I was in the military for 24 years, had a stellar career. I uh, went back to school when I was 46 years old. Um, I was top of my class. I was voted into who's who, but I could not overcome a sexual addiction for anything. Um, I tried, I tried everything. It was the biggest struggle of my life. I um, was a product of the 70s. I did drugs and alcohol, and I had no problems when uh, I wanted to stop those things I could. There was nothing that uh, kept me drinking or doing drugs, uh, but the sexual addictions I couldn't stop. Um, I got addicted to pornography. Um, I was acting out all the time. Uh, I got married, I thought that would cure it. That didn't help. In fact, I lost a marriage probably because of it. Uh, by coming to the recovery program, I actually found out that I could talk about things, that uh, I could bring things up that I hadn't talked about with anybody else. Uh, Jason, I have told him things that I've probably never told anybody else. Um, everything's been confidential. Uh, they have done nothing but been uh, the leaders that uh, you find in Philippians 2, which says, let each of you look out not only for your own um, interest, but also for the interest of others. And they're looking out for our interest. They want to see other people recover because they've been through it also. If you're struggling with something um, and you have secrets in your life, there is a safe place to go and talk to people about it. Hi, I'm Becca Varner and I am a part of the recovery ministry. I came to recovery because my marriage was broken. My husband and I were not in a good place. We were in the boxing ring, constantly going at it with each other, and I felt done. In turn, realizing that not only did I need to deal with things in my marriage, I really needed to get to the root of what was going on, and that was sexual abuse. I had been sexually abused from the time I was five years old for several years, and that really changed my life. The sexual abuse that I had as a kid broke whatever boundary I ever had with anybody, and it made me not trust people. And entering the recovery program was not easy. I was very skeptical. I did not think anything at that point could fix my marriage or my life. And I thought I was fine, but I knew that there was something so much more that I needed to uncover. I was really nervous about people knowing the things that had happened in my life. I did not want people to know that I'd been sexually abused. I did not want people to know in my church, after all the years that I've been there, that I felt done in my marriage. And I didn't know how that would go over with the people that I talked to in that program. And I realized that that is probably one of the most confidential places I've ever been in my life, that I've been able to share and open up about things that I've never talked to anyone about. Before I started the program, I had not heard from God in several years, and that was very hard. I know what God could do in my life, and He's done many things for it, but and putting the, everything out on the table allowed God to speak in my heart and I had to continue to push through and push through and push through. And the people in that class continued to pray over me and pray over me over and over again without ceasing. And with that, I finally got my breakthrough at the beginning of this year. I started to hear from God. I was able to hear the things that God spoke over my life and what he had for my marriage and he had for me as a mom and it broke the chains of control that all of that sexual abuse had in my life and what God 
What Satan intended for my life was spiritual immaturity. And God showed me that I was not just collateral damage, but that I was collateral beauty. Hi, my name is Michael, and I've been in the recovery program for two years. What brought me to the recovery program is an addiction to methamphetamines, alcohol, marijuana, and opiates. And through the process of addiction, I lost everything, including custody of my daughter, my career as a registered nurse, and a lot of family relationships. What I found when I came to recovery is a place where I could share my ideas and my struggles in a trusting environment with peers who are a lot like me. And I found a place where I belonged. Through the 12 step program, I have restored contact with God. I spend daily time with him and devotion in the mornings. And that has truly helped me out a lot. Through working the recovery program, God has brought my life full circle. My daughter is back in my life full time. I have full custody of her. My career as a registered nurse has come back and my sanity best of all. I would highly recommend the 12 step program to anyone who's struggling with alcohol or drug addiction in their life and needs a safe place to go and talk 